afraid I may have just ruined this line to where I'm not going to be able to use it. Alright, time to go back to work after playing so much. We're going to start on getting Clob in the shop. Caden wants to get a couple things done on it. Here we go. Cute seat. It's nice, so huh? Don't have no brakes, so. So hold on, because Caden's pulling you in. Watch where you're going. What are you pulling it in for? For fun. Because <laughs> you're just driving it around. Rumpy, 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 rumpy. Okay, whoa. I gotta say, Caden. She's pretty quiet. We don't need that kind of negativity around here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, watch your mouth. Yeah. yeah, we're just waiting for uh, Mr. Postman to bring us a clocking ring, so. Is there a song? Hey, Mr. Postman. Yeah. Bring me a what? Yeah. <laughs> Bring me a clocking ring. So I can go to work. But I guess we can start building brake lines and stuff. So see if we can get some brakes on this now that the booster's mounted. So. Back from school. See my backpack right there. Caden's got the. Well, that. Yeah, it's the factory return line. Yeah. And uh, so I just cleaned it up as best as I could with some Scotch Brite. And, and some solvent and just put a light coat of silver on it and we're getting some power steering lines put on it now looks like these will work with just some minor bending so make it look pretty good and then once we get these on then we can bend up this line and get it hooked up to the master cylinder we might actually get some brakes today yay finally brakes the thing without having to put your foot foot in front of it yeah, yeah, we won't, you won't have to be the tire chalk anymore. Yeah. You did a pretty good job of stopping it though. Sacrificing your body so the blazer doesn't get hurt. Though. Yeah. yeah. Where's that is hose bender. Yeah. Let's see what that did for us. Okay, don't let me get in your way. That's the joys of YouTube, huh? We sacrifice all forward progress for... Content? For content, huh? <laughs> so we're gonna bend this one. We're just gonna kinda go by feel here, so... Uh, about that much feels good. And we'll go and bend. So we'll go about that far. Like a 90. Yeah, be just 90 a little more. Go. What? See what that does. Who's here? Oh, Caden's got the mail. HDS, sir, and how are you this afternoon? All righty then. I have a package for you. What's it for? Take a guess. Dad? <laughs> no. It's for me. You know how I know? How? So Is that still boxes? my blazer. It's here. What's that? It's the clocking ring. I just hope this one actually clocks the right way. Probably going to compare it to the other one. Yeah, I may as well. I put it in here. Oh, I know where I put it. Cool. Okay. Yep. Daily there you go. dollar short, but it's finally here. Now we both got one. Yeah. Let's see what that's doing. Straighten it out. Yeah, this is that other line that we're going to use to 
connect to the box. So it goes right here, and it will connect to this line. Can I throw what line? This one. This is the one that goes up from the Hydro Boost. So it will go, we'll connect them together. Right there. Right in there somewhere. So we'll probably cut that one there and that one there. Get some fittings and hook it all together. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just taking and gluing some silicone around to put the uh, the clocking ring on, make sure it doesn't leak. And yeah, I'll just take and, and bolt it on. Torque the uh, the bolts down, make sure that they're going to hold. And yeah, then I can stick it in and see if it's actually going to fit. So. All right, Arts and Crafts with Kenner. Oh yeah. Let's see what he made for us today. I think I used a little bit of tape. Yeah, you, you like to tape. I mean, masking tape and duct tape. <laughs> Make you go bankrupt, huh? Pretty much. Cool. All right. Coolest garbage camp you've ever had. Yep. Well, that's it for today's installment of Arts and Crafts with Kenner. <laughs> okay. So I have these lines all tweaked to, to work, but now I just need to connect this line to this line. So I'm going to do that with a double flare. So we'll pull this out. And we'll go over here to the double player tool. This thing right here. Yep, that will do maybe. And we'll need those two guys. Uh-oh. I gotta straighten the bend out a little bit to get that to go on there. We'll go back to the bench to do this one. Grab all the stuff you need. Hey. Need this stuff and half a brain. Oh, I'm a failure because I haven't got a brain. Okay, so we just straighten that out a little bit to get that to go in a little farther. Let's see if it works. Looks like we have just enough, huh? Okay, so now we get this locked in there, and then we're gonna do the first part of the flare. Which is this, this kind of makes a bubble at the end of the line. And then you got this to like kind of just... And then it folds it back down. Okay, there's that. See how it kind of bubbled it? Down in there? So now we're going to take this and then it'll take the bubble and fold it in. Fold it in on itself so the flare has two layers of metal on it. So that's why it's called a double flare. Okay, so now pop this out. And now you can see. Oh wow, I didn't do a very good job. I didn't do a very good job at all. Look at that. That's all messed up. Wow. Huh. This works. No, not really. But it just barely rolled the edge of it over into be being a double flare. So I'm going to have to cut that off and try again. Cut it a little shorter. We'll give her another shot. I must not have had the end of this line cut square, so it just did funny things. I just shot off the camera. Like, go, okay, go while you know us. Smoke if you got him. Yep, glad you don't got him. Never had show. Well, why don't we take a five minute break? Very good, sir. Smoke if you got him. That's a funny show, huh? Yeah, well, yes. I mean, it's maybe 80s PG, but. <laughs> All right. Take two. 
this doesn't even want to work at all now. I'm afraid I may have just ruined this line to where I'm not going to be able to use it. Just because of that one little boo boo. Yeah. Okay, so Caden got this uh, uh, clocking ring put on the transfer case there, and it's actually the right one. So as you can see, it rolled that transfer case up um, a fair amount. Get that transfer case so it doesn't hang down so low. And it's going to actually clear the factory skid plate that this blazer came with. So that'll be really nice. The, uh, but the problem is, now that we've clocked it up, this spacer that's oh, there, yeah, this one. Yeah, the one. it's not even close to, to fitting. So we had to do this one inch spacer so the transmission and engine were all sitting in at the same angle as factory because of the front cross member we used raised the motor up about an inch and we didn't mind that because it made header clearance so much better and everything else just lined up a lot better but we're paying for it now in clearance on the transfer case at the floor so um, that's why that section of floor is cut out so what we're gonna have to do is build a thinner spacer to go in there so what are you building a new one of these so, I pretty well got it cut out in the van so and I was just grinding it down to make it smooth. So, it's relatively close. So, anyway, I'm just half as thick. So, so, this one's like half inch instead of an inch? Yeah. Looks cool. I wish I'd known you were making it. I had a totally video of him making it. Yeah. I was just cutting stuff in the van <laughs> saw. It wasn't anything too exciting, so. Well, it's looking good. Get her done. Put it underneath so I don't drill into this. Perfect. Anyway, hopefully it is perfect. Hold it up. Caden got that spacer all built. It's a half inch thick. The original yeah, spacer was one inch thick. So uh, we're going to put that in, see what this all looks like. Hopefully it's something that's workable. I think it is. It's tight. We might have to do just a minor bit of clearancing right there. We can do that with a little bit of a persuader. We'll have to, we're gonna have to build new bracing and stuff for that section of floor, but it's still totally doable. That is, that looks so oh, much it better. Clears here now. Yeah, okay, it actually good. clears there where it sure didn't before. So I like that. And uh, even dropping that transfer case down we can still clear the skid plate and cross member, so. So you might have seen the catastrophe that we had last time. My dad, uh, screwed up and I can't remember which end it was, but one of these ends, he, he screwed it up, and we just went and bought one of these. What you doing? Just bending more brake lines. Uh, we got the, uh, all the power steering lines all built, put together. Looks all nice oh, and tidy. All that? Yeah. Oh, I'm gone for just a little while and look at all it gets done. So we got to pull that little clamp back off there. Why? To paint it. That looks terrible. But yeah. We just put it in place to uh, hold everything in place so we get everything worked in where it needs to go. So I'm um, just bending this uh, rear brake line to go from inside the frame. Um, so that goes, this will be this rear brake line that will go up to the uh, proportioning valve. So I'm just trying to bend it to match this other front line so it all looks nice and pretty. I don't have any of the armor, the spring looking stuff to go on it. So I've got some of that coming. We can just slide that over the top of this once I get it all bent. So it's not as easy, but it'll work. Once that's on, we should be able to bleed the brakes and have brakes for uh, the next time. We uh, work on it. So. Next time you pull her in. Yeah, that'll be a lot better. Well, let's see. This is kind of a fun thing to sneak in here. If I'd have been smart, I would have done this before everything else got done. I was not smart. I'm a fart smelly. You're what? <laughs> a fart smelly. 
It's not a smart feller, so I'm a fart smeller. <laughs> this is just a little bit off. Kind of like me. Just a little bit off. You do realize that when you give yourself a hard time, I chose you, so <laughs> probably be nice. <laughs> I think that will work. She goes right beside the other one. Yep, so that looks pretty good. So it's got a bend back this way and then go up into there. And then there is a separate line that goes from here to this proportioning valve up into the front master Just cylinder. Just a little line. Just a short little line, so. Yep. He's keener. Yeah. What shirt are you wearing? Cleetus shirt. Yeah. Cleetus shirt. <laughs> You're not even drive and, you, and you, that's how you feel, huh? Yep, well I do drive, but. He's got his learner's permit. He's 15, so of course he knows everything. Uh, 100%. <laughs> what are you doing now? Cutting it. So I just gotta cut this to length so I can make this band, because it's gotta go that way. And it'll hit the firewall if I don't cut it. <laughs> yeah, it would, huh? Okay, so that will go like that. So it all lines up. It looks like bendy tools. Ooh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. So it's just like a little mandrel you just stick in there and then you can bend the tubing around there and it helps keep it from, from kinking. Okay, that's good enough for now. Until I get that little uh, armor on there. Once that's on, when I'm putting that on, it'll kind of move the uh, brake line around a little bit. So I'll just have to final tweak it and it's ready to bolt in place, so. Got the lines all built. The brake line right here built. These ones bent and, and double flared. This one, of course I'm missing one fitting, so as soon as I get this one fitting, I'll get that all put together, get the brakes bled. The power steering lines turned out pretty good. All tucked in nice and tidy. So really happy with the way those turned out. We got the transfer case back out so Caden can start on the floor, get that all fixed up, and then when he gets that floor raised up, we'll uh, be able to put the transfer case back in, get the exhaust in. That'll be the missing piece in order for us to get this started. That'll do it for tonight. Remember, do the best you can till you know better. And when you know better, do better. Thanks for watching.